Hi there. You all know I make cigar box ukuleles and that I get the cigar boxes from local cigar stores. Well, if you didn't know that, you know it now. Last time I went out to get cigar boxes, the store said, oh, we're all out, we threw them all out, and then with a wink and a nod, they said, but the bag is out in the alley. And this was the result of that haul. And some of these boxes are really cool shapes and sizes and covers, but not all of them are the right shape. That's actually not a cigar box. It's a tool. But not all of them were the right shapes. There's an exceptionally interesting one for somebody whose last name or first name is M. Not all of them are appropriate to make an instrument, because some of them are square. And my dear wife said, well, why don't you make something else out of them? And that's what this video is about. So when we come back, I'll show you some of the first results of making something different out of them. See you soon. Bye. So here we are in Santa's workshop and um, that's a Shure Electronics 2 watt by 2 channel stereo amplifier board bought from uh, Parts Express. And what you see there is it's got connections on the left for speakers, a little barrel connector for power, a little another connector on the right for a battery, a couple of buttons to turn the volume up and down, and then around here on this side, right there is a connection to another board that they sell that they told me would be a volume control board, and I bought it and found out that actually it's a volume control board for other products that they sell and doesn't really do what the up and down volume buttons do and so being the geek that I was back in the day I relearned assembler programming and what you see inside the box is that other board that's their volume control board a little harder to see because it's already mounted inside the box and it has a similar little white header I'm pointing at it and that one connects it up to the amplifier board but I made a modification that you can barely see I'll try to get it I'll try to get it a little closer in see that little resistor right up there that takes one of the extra lines off of the little microprocessor chip on that board and provides me with a mute line that's that orange wire that's a mute wire and that wire connects up to the black header that I installed right there the other row of pins that you see down at the bottom, those allow my programs to override the program that's already on the chip. So, we've got some soldering, some microprogramming, and if you haven't guessed, the container is a cigar box. So this is a cigar box speaker system. We've got a volume control here which is really a, a rotary encoder it goes around forever and ever in both directions sound up sound down every time and I'll show you this when it's all wired together up volume gives you a blinking light here down volume gives you a blinking light here if you push it once it mutes and those lights will give you an indication that you're in mute mode push it again and the volume comes back. On the back we have a connection for a up to a 15 volt power supply from a brick and an on off switch. And when it's all done the wire that you see here will come out the top and allow it to be stored back in the top. So I'll show you the completed version when it's all done and we'll come back. So there you see it, there's the little battery holder, the main circuit board, the speakers, and all the other wiring, and a place to tuck the unused audio cable in. The lid goes on, a small notch, and you're done. There you have it.
didn't get to sleep that night till the morning came around. Sit out and run, but I take my time. My friend of the devil is at the end of my heart.